kitchen. Jody is cooking. She is cooking up a storm. And me like how she a guan. Me say you want to taste it. You have to taste it. And when you taste it, you can't erase it. Hey, Jody cooking, delicious cooking. Hi guys, it's Jody. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another delicious recipe for you all. I'm gonna make some chicken vegetable stir fry. Yes. So guys, these are most of my ingredients that I'll be using. I'm gonna start off with my chicken. I'm using chicken breasts, okay? And this is four. And I'm also gonna add some cabbage. And this is a round off of cabbage. You can add as much as you like. You can also use broccoli. I also have one tomato, one small carrot, and fresh thyme. In my bowl right here, as you can see, I have one tablespoon of fresh thyme, okay? One onion, one to half of onion, okay? That's my sweet pepper. And that's off, that's the red one. I also have some yellow bell peppers off. And just a small amount of my green pepper because it's already finishing. So I just have a small amount. These are all of my seasoning. And guys, I'm going to leave everything in the description, okay? So you guys can go and check it out, okay? So I have ground black pepper, jerk seasoning, garlic and parsley seasoning, Cajun seasoning, paprika and onion powder. And this is just one teaspoon of everything. But as I said, look in the description and you'll see all the measurements that I have. And I also have some ginger. Ginger is a must. Guys, my chicken breast is already washed and clean, okay, with some lemon juice. So I'm already cutting so I'm just gonna show you okay so you're just gonna get a sharp knife and just cut it just like so but you can always cut it in whichever size you preferred you don't have to cut it the same way that I'm cutting it yeah like this so now guys I'm gonna season it up okay so first thing, I'm going to add some olive oil, at least one tablespoon of olive oil. You can use vegetable oil, and it's just going to allow your chicken breast to keep nice and moist. Then I'm going to add some dark soy sauce, at least one tablespoon. And I'm going to blend all my seasoning, and I'm just going to add it. I'm not going to add all my seasoning, I'm going to leave back some for my sauce. So you're just gonna add it just like so yeah so I'm just gonna leave out this amount and guys I'm also adding some more of my paprika and I'm adding smoked paprika okay at least two teaspoon and it's just gonna give it a nice color I'm just gonna mix it all in now you can always use your hands It smells so good. So guys, it is all finished seasoning. So now I'm just going to leave it to the side, okay? You can always leave it to marinate for at least 30 minutes. So now guys, I'm going to make my sauce for my chicken stir fry. So to my bowl right here, I add at least just over one cup of warm water, okay? So now I'm going to add at least just over one tablespoon of my dark soy sauce for some color. Yeah, that's it. Then I'm going to add all my remaining seasoning. I'm also going to add some honey. At least three tablespoons of my honey. Give it a stir. And guys, I'm going to use some CR... Why? I can't call name, you I'm going to use some CR... CR cha. So guys, I'm going to use some sriracha sauce. Yes, I'm going to get it now. You can also use ketchup, okay? 
I don't have no ketchup, so that's the reason why I'm using this sauce because I want it to have a nice, you know, red color. So I'm gonna add at least three tablespoons to quarter cup, okay? It's a bit hot, but you know the honey is gonna balance out the taste. Yeah. Or if you don't have it also, you can also use tomato puree. That also will work. Then I'm going to add cornstarch. And I'm going to add a 1 to 2 teaspoon of my cornstarch. And it's just going to add thickness. Make sure that everything is all combined, okay? Let I add some more of my dark soya sauce. So this is all done. So I'm just going to put it to the side, okay? And you can always taste it to your liking, guys. If you want it to be more sweeter, you just add more honey, yeah? So guys, here I have my pot and my stove. And to my pot, I add at least just over... 3 tablespoons of my olive oil so now I'm gonna add my chicken and I'm just gonna allow it to brown up okay for at least 3 to 4 minutes on each side yeah make sure that you space it out So guys, I did add everything. Make sure you don't overcrowd your pot. So now guys, I'm going to flip it over. So guys, they are finished browned up, so now I'm going to remove it. Look at that. So nice and so golden. Perfect. So now guys, I'm going to add my remaining chicken. So guys, in the same pot, I'm going to add some crushed garlic and I'm going to add at least half teaspoon. You can also use fresh garlic and I'm going to add it to my pot. My stove is on a low heat. Then I'm going to add my onions and my ginger. Just gonna leave it to saute for at least 30 seconds. So this is what it looks like just after 30 seconds. Then I'm gonna add my carrot, my tomato. 
and some of my fresh thyme. Then I'm going to add my cabbage. Then I'm just going to add a, a pinch of salt. I'm going to leave the cabbage guys for at least one minute, okay? So after around a minute or so, I'm going to add my bell peppers. We're just going to leave it guys for at least 20 seconds, okay? Try not to overcook it. I'm going to add just a bit of my Cajun seasoning, at least half teaspoon. So now guys, I'm going to remove it all and add it to my bowl. It smells so good and it looks so good. Make sure you don't overcook your cabbage, okay? So guys, now that I almost remove everything from my pan, I'm going to add my sauce, okay? Just like so. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn up my stove, okay? Because I want it to become nice and thick, okay? So I'm just gonna leave it for at least three minutes. Do not cover your pot. But I turn it up. We'll make sure you give an eye on it. So guys, it's just over three to four minutes. And this is what it looks like. As you can see, it is getting nice and thick. And this is exactly what you want. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add my chicken. I'm going to also turn my stove down. I'm going to add it all. This looks amazing, guys. Absolutely delicious. So, so good. You want to mix it all in. So everything will all combine, okay? Guys, this looks so, so good. Absolutely delicious. So yummy. And I'm just going to leave it, guys, for at least one to two minutes, okay? Because the chicken is already partially cooked. That I had it, I'm just going to mix it all in. Guys, you need some rice and you're good to go. It's not dry, so much sauce. I'm loving this recipe absolutely delicious divine i'm gonna also add some fresh thyme and i'm not gonna cover it up guys i'm gonna leave it uncovered okay guys i wish you could be in my kitchen it looks so good in the kitchen than on the camera so so yummy let I give you guys a up close look look at that super super delicious
So guys, it is all finished. So now I'm just gonna turn my stove off. I'm telling you, I cannot wait to eat it with some rice. Absolutely delicious, so mouth watering. So guys, as you can see, I'm just plating it all up and I'm serving it with some white rice, of course, basmati. Guys, trust me, this recipe is a must try. Your families, your friends, everyone is going to enjoy it. It is super, super tasty and so delicious. My husband, my children, myself, we all enjoy it. It is so, so, so yummy. If you try this recipe, comment below and tell me what it's like. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Please, guys, if you can share this video to someone on your WhatsApp, Facebook, Instagram, I know you must know someone that will love this recipe. Do not keep it to yourself, guys. Please share it to someone, okay? And I thank you all so much in advance.